often when we're living with a lot of people talking all the time. We keep thinking, wouldn't it be nice if we could have some time by ourselves, so we could be really quiet. Now you come out to a quiet place like this where everyone's being very quiet, and then you begin to realize how it's not just people outside that disturb the mind. The mind disturbs itself. Talking about this, commenting on that, liking this, not liking that. It's like you've got a whole committee in there, and it's a pretty raucous one, too. They're not getting along. Lots of different opinions, lots of different ideas, lots of different motions being placed on the floor. You've got to learn how to cut through all that, say that all of that is excessive, all of that is unnecessary. All you need is just the sensation of being with the body. You move from just physical seclusion into mental seclusion. As long as the mind is going to talk to itself, talk to itself about the breath. How is the breath going? Is it too long, too short, too heavy, too light? If you say you can't feel the breath energy in the body, then you wouldn't be feeling your body at all. The fact that you feel a body from the inside, that's the breath energy. And so ask yourself, is it tight? Is it constricted? If it is, just let it relax. And there'll be a sense of things flowing. It may not be all that obvious to begin with, but as you get more and more quiet, just stay with the body in and of itself. You get more sensitive to it. This is what they mean when in the Satipatthana Sutra when they say the body in and of itself. In other words, you're not looking at the body in terms of what the world might say about it, the work you might have to do in the world, or whether, whether people might find it attractive. You've simply got a body here, on its own terms. How does it feel? Get to know it. That way you can cut through a lot of the chatter, so you don't have to disturb yourself so much, and you can get a taste of what the Buddha calls not just physical seclusion, but also mental seclusion. If you get really good at the mental seclusion, then you can carry it back, carry it back into the world. You can be with other people, but the mind isn't disturbed, because it's not disturbing itself. That's the important point.